Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in this video we have a Dell Precision laptop. This one is a Dell Precision 5530 model and this version it comes with an Intel Xeon E2176M model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or upgrade the RAM on your laptop. We have upgraded this laptop up to 64 gig. Uh, but 32 gig is pretty sweet spot to have it in this video I'm just going to show you guys how to open and remove it I made a really short video how to can check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop I'll leave that link in the video description so you guys can check because this model comes with a variance of the iCore 7, iCore 5 and Xeon CPU so based on your CPUs you can check what's the limit on yours all right, by replacing the RAM or upgrading it, you're not going to change any configuration in the laptop. It's all going to be the same as you left it. So it's just pretty much plug and play. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop and you want to go over the tools. The tools, again, I'll link them in the video description if you want to purchase yours. Tool number one, a very important one, is an iFixit screwdriver set. I like this one because they have all the tools all the bits that you need for all the electronics that you're going to be facing let's say for example these screws are hex special hex screws these are a hex number t5 fork i believe it's t5 yes it is t5 so torque number five and you will need an opening tool if you get the pro set they will include you an opening tool if not just grab yourself a guitar Pick. and metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers so with this one here we're going to get it started all right so on the bottom of the laptop all the screws that you're going to see are the same size and height so go ahead and start from one corner and remove all of them and keep them in one pile also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comments area. I appreciate that. All right, now, once we finish all these screws, we still not finished. There's a two hidden screws that we need to remove. These two hidden screws are under this cover right in here, and they actually, they give you a little slot here to put your finger underneath and lift it up, bring it up like that, and that's the information for the uh, laptop, the tag number, everything like that. And there's a two Phillips number one in there, that you need to remove. These screws are a little bigger and they're obvious compared to other ones that are way different. So remove these screws and remove them, put them in a different pile. Put the screws and leave them in a different pile. Once you remove these two screws, you can put your fingernails at the back here, put your thumb on the hinge and just bring this side up just bring them up or we'll put one hand in there with the other one just lift up the cover from the back towards the front like a pamphlet right there so there's your bottom cover so i put that to one side and right over here we can see the two rams in the right presented right in front now to remove the ram you do not need to disconnect the battery it's absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery but for those people that are really paranoid and they want to disconnect the battery I'll show you how to. You need to remove three, one, two, three, four screws that touches the battery, and they are pointed with an arrow. So you need to remove these four screws. Again, this is not required, but for those people that they don't listen and they just want to forcefully disconnect the battery, remove these three screws, lift up the battery, bring it to the offset position like that. Now you have enough space to work in here. The cables are very hard, so don't worry about it. You just want to pull this cable back and with you, this finger, help the black side to pull back gently, evenly. You want to bring it, work, work it around slowly and disconnect it. Don't yank it sideways, otherwise you're going to bend the pins. So you want to pull back evenly. So that's how you can disconnect it. To put it back in, what you want to do, you want to bring it evenly inside the jack, and then you just want to pinch it right in there. And then just make sure the screw holes match. The tiny pin hole right in this side has to match beside the screw hole. And the pin holes on the other side. And there you go, it just falls in place. And then you can just put the, the screws back on. 
and that's how you can disconnect and uh, connect back the battery so I'm gonna do this process with the battery plugged in because there's no need to disconnect the battery unless you are really flimsy you think you're gonna drop the RAM right over the other components or stuff like that or the screw for some reason but if you're careful you don't need to disconnect the battery you can touch any component and there's nothing going to happen i'm not even discharged or anything all right to remove the battery what you want to do, uh, remove the ram i mean you want to put your two fingers on the side on these triggers right in here and you want to pull them away from each other like that and this one right here and you're going to see these ramps are popped open in 45 degree angle and then what you want to do you want to grab it and slide it backward in 45 degree angle that's one don't yank it up towards the ceiling otherwise it's not going to come out and it can break the dim or the ramp so just slide it backward all right these are 16 gig and 16 gig uh, ddr4 you can put a 32 and 32 gig if you want if you support so i'll leave the link for a compatible ramp that i recommend you can plug in and uh, it says on the board this is dim a and dim b so first you have to fill up dim a and then you have to fill up dim b if you want to use one stick only use it on dim a don't use it on dim b again to plug it back in make sure the notch on the ram right here is, is not right centered is a little bit to the one side is matching the notch right on the dim so if you put it backward here it's not going to go through even the labels everything facing upward so you have to flip it upside down bring it in 45 degree inside the dim and then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear these triggers open and close just like that same thing in here make sure the notch matches bring it down in 45 push it towards the motherboard the triggers open and close and that's how you know the rams are in place now if you have disconnected the battery plug it back in one last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover align it right over bring it down right on top and what you want to do you just want to first put the two feather screw right on the bottom cover and then the rest of the screws just remember if you put the new ram in there and you power on it might take 5 to 10 or even 15 seconds for the motherboard to do a mem check which is called a ram check so don't panic or don't worry just let it go for 5 to 15 seconds after 15 seconds if you still don't get anything on the screen what you want to do you want to power off the laptop and you want to swipe the places for the ram so put the old one on the left or the right one just swipe them all around and then uh, power on again and then wait another 5 to 10 15 seconds and it's going to power on if I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I will power on this laptop so you guys can see that it does power on. So I'll finish putting up the screws. I want to put the screws. Now let's go ahead and power it on. I see the backlit for the keyboard and I should get a their logo right in the center and there we have it now you should start loading up the window it is pretty fast Dell precision 15 I don't know why it says Dell precision 15 when it's Dell precision 55 30 I guess it's known as a precision 15. Oh yeah, so once you finish with that one, just you can shut it down. So that's it for today's video.